Hey guys, John here. So, uh, I got another pretty cool one here for you. I think you're going to like this. Uh, you saw the titles like uh, a gallon of yogurt for four bucks. How's that even possible? Well, I wanted to make yogurt in the uh, system that I have here and um, there's just an awful lot to it. I have to get the milk, which is, and, and there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, some people have, you know, that amount of time. I have it, but it's just, it's just so many steps and processes having to get the milk, get it all at a certain time, get it all at a certain temperature, keep it at that temperature, and there's timing and all, and things can go wrong. So it's not the laziness that I'm trying to avoid as much as it's, let's take more steps out for there's less things to go wrong, all right? And I was sitting there one day thinking, now, they talk about if you don't want to do that and you want to get rid of some of those processes, you can use that uh, fair Fairlife milk or Fairfield, whatever it is, it's a super ultra pasteurized milk, okay? And that eliminates a bunch of this processes of getting the milk, getting into a certain temperature, maintaining at that temperature for so long. But when you look at that stuff, that stuff is like five or six dollars for a quart, 32 ounces. And I don't even think it's a full quart, I think it's less than a quart. So it's uh, that, that takes a, a gallon of yogurt and turns it into like over $24 a gallon and it's like yeah it's just that it, it, I'm not getting it there either all right now we got milk here in Maine for like anywhere it depends on where you grab it it can be like four dollars a gallon 389 four dollars you get it at, if you have to get it at a convenience store it'll be six dollars for a gallon though that's still a lot so I was sitting there thinking and I'm going there's got to be another way though because this 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 milk, this Fairfield or Fairfield milk or whatever it is, Fairlife milk, it can't be. It's not. It's not magic. It's got to be a, a, another brand, but you can't find anything anywhere in the store. Nothing. So I'm sitting there thinking. And then I remembered a long time ago, when I was in the military, I had seen these little like juice boxes, but they were milk. And I remember I was kind of fascinated by it because. It wasn't in a cooler. And I remember someone had said, well, they super uh, heat it. It's ultra pasteurized. And that's how they're able to do it. It's a, uh, uh, I forget the term for it. Not, uh, not anaerobically, but it's, uh, it's, it's hermetically, that's it. It's hermetically uh, sealed and it's ultra pasteurized. And I'm sitting there thinking, I remembered that and I went, hang on. I had been to the Dollar Tree and saw a thing of milk that was hermetically sealed and the only way it could be on the shelf like that is it has to be ultra pasteurized. And it was a quart of milk for a dollar. Now you first think, you know, oh great, here we go, Dollar Tree, all right, but no, this is a, a USA product. Okay, well you won't be able to say it like that, but it's a USA product. It's made in... Uh, Logan, Utah from Gosner Foods, all right? This is a U.S. product, all right? Gosner milk, but when you're sitting there and you're reading it, all right, there's no uh, it, no uh, RBST cows, no, no that treating or any of that, but you sit here and you start reading it and you're reading the process and it's the ultra high temperature pasteurization, which means this is exactly the same as the Fairfield milk. So if you get these, you can literally get four of these and make a gallon of yogurt. The first time it'll be like four dollars and like 80 cents or whatever a little container of yogurt's going to be. You have to, the first time you do it, get yourself a thing of yogurt uh, from the store. Make sure it's got active cultures. You might have to buy a, a decent one, so it might cost you a buck that time. But then after that, I take a couple uh, tablespoons of it, and I put it in a little container. That's my Satan sauce container. That's what I do with my mustard when it's all done. But this is the mother now. I always fill this up first when I get done, put it in the fridge, and this is the mother to make the next one. And you literally do nothing more than dump these two in, dump this in, Press a button and adjust the time. That's it. Literally, that's the, that's the amount of work for you to be able to make your own yogurt at home. 
Okay, so just so let's see if we can get this so you guys can read that. I'm sure there'll be people that will not be thrilled they couldn't weren't able to read that. So there you go, right there. You can see it's a USA product. All right, and it's the ultra ultra high temperature pasteurization. All right, so this is the same as that Fairfield. Let's get you in there. Okay, so here's how hard this is. We have a clean, the Crock-Pot Express clean. We're gonna crack these open. And it looks exactly like milk because it is milk. It's just ultra pasteurized is all. And you're gonna get to uh, not pay six dollars a container for this. Now I'm sure someone will pop in here and go, well, it's not six dollars in mine, it's five fifty. That's not six. Okay, good for you. But this is take the main reason is you can do it with a four gallon dollar four dollar uh, gallon of milk or a five dollar gallon you can still do this but what you can't do is is you can't eliminate the, the ability of a mistake standing there and you can't make it faster this is you've already seen the hard process here's the the one from the last one i pour that mother in and that's it's literally called a mother that's the mother and that's it we are done now going to lock it. I'm going to literally go over here to where it says the yogurt right here, the yogurt button. Press the yogurt button in. It says eight. I add an hour. All right. And then you hit start. And tomorrow, all right, when this is done, I'll let it sit for three hours, just turned off. And we're done. But we'll get we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning and we'll show you that part. Well, good morning, peoples. Time is up. Let's go ahead and you can see right here. Oop, gotta watch that. Yeah. Don't want to drain a bunch of water in there. Let me get You can see it. I'm tipping it. We got yogurt. We got yogurt in there. <clears throat> now we're going to let it sit for three hours. Okay? It just sits. Just like it is. Put your lid on it, obviously, so no one gets in it. But I just loosely set the lid on there. So we're going to let that sit for three hours to finish. All we've done now so far is take the lid off. So remember, we, we dumped in the two containers, put in our mother, did our little button push, and now we've taken the lid off. Terrible lot of work. Horrible amount of work. All right, guys. Good morning. We're going to take a look at this three hours after. Okay, look at that. Now, you might find a little bit of liquid on here, but you can see how well that's... It's just holding its side right there. Now you might find a little bit of liquid on here. It's up to you. If you want to do several different things, you can. Number one, at this point, you can take it all out, put it in a strainer, okay? Put it in a strainer with, you can do cheesecloth. Uh, you can do the oversized coffee filters, okay? Some people don't have enough gear present at home to do certain things. So I would tell you then, if, if, if that's you, just get your big coffee filters. Put it in one of your mesh strainers and set it over a bowl in the sink. That way you can drain more. And what will happen is, after you let that sit and drain, you can do it in the refrigerator if you want to set two bowls inside of each other. You know what I mean? Uh, put your strainer on a bowl and then uh, set your yogurt in a strainer, in that strainer with a coffee filter. Put it in the fridge and let it just sit. You can uh, make your own Greek yogurt then because it'll be a lot thicker. You can also take and use this if your eyes are, if someone's on a diet or they're, uh, they have, uh, uh, don't like uh, sour cream or, 
you don't want to go out and buy more sour cream or <laughs> if you live in a tiny 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 town and they just don't have it you can do this and it's like it'll, it'll take the place of your sour cream okay so uh <clears throat> which the first thing we want to do though the next morning is we want to get our mother so i have my jar my my satan sauce jar satan sauce mustard best stuff in the world but i'm gonna take and i'm gonna put my mother in here that's my first it's the fresh brand new culture here we're gonna just take and you're gonna need a couple tablespoons i usually just take this whole little jar all right it's like i don't know four ounces or something like that for me but i will take and put all that together and then i have my mother all right